It is war. No longer will we let Honey, Capital One Shopping or other nefarious browser plugins steal commissions. We have put hundreds of hours into testing laptops and providing you with advice as to which you should buy. When you buy the laptops with one of our links, we receive a commission for providing that advice. That is our main revenue stream that funds our channel and our website. And it's the same for many other creators. Well, we are fighting back. We've built open source code that can be installed into our website. It will give the owner of the website the ability to warn website visitors of the consequences of using these plugins. We're also giving the owner of the website the option of preventing people with these plugins from accessing the site at all. If you aren't aware of the Honey and Capital One shopping scandal that's exploded across YouTube, here's what's happened. Honey and Capital One Shopping are browser extensions that pop up before a consumer checks out at an online store. The extensions promise to search the internet for the best coupons so that you can get the best price. But what the extensions also do is swap the content creator's tracking code with their own, so that the commissions rightfully earned by the content creator are redirected to Honey or Capital One Shopping. What's worse is that it appears that they do this regardless of whether they provide any value to you at all. If they don't find a coupon or the coupon they found doesn't give you a better price, they still take all the content creator's commission. And it isn't just content creators who are getting screwed. It's also you, the shopper. According to Megalag, the YouTuber who uncovered this scam, Honey offers a service that allows retailers to prevent certain coupons from being shown. Let's say there is a 30% coupon floating out there. A retailer can use Honey's system to hide that coupon from you and instead show you a worse one, say 5%. Well, I've spent too much time in the software development industry to allow this to pass. So I and our crack team of developers over in Bangalore, India have built some simple code that allows anyone who has a website to fight back. Here's how it works. The code allows a website to perform one of the following actions if a browser plugin is installed and activated. You can prevent access to your website completely, displaying a reason as to why. For example, sorry, you're using a plugin that we believe prevents us from being able to earn money and fund this site. Please disable the plugin before using our website. If you don't want to do that, you can instead provide a dismissible warning to your users, letting them know the consequences of using the plugin that they have installed. For example, we've detected the use of X plugin. Using such a plugin denies us the ability to earn revenue for the advice we give. We would appreciate it if you would disable it and not use it at any e-commerce site that we have links to. This is the option, by the way, that we're going with. You see, we believe that informed consumers will make the right choice to just walk away from using Honey and Capital One Shopping. Finally, there is an option to do nothing, but just monitor which users have these extensions installed. By default, we've set the code to detect the browser extensions Honey, Capital One Shopping and others like them. You can of course change this, we've built the code to be flexible so it is 100% up to your discretion as to how you use it. The code is available right now in the NPM Package Manager, just search for Browser Extension Detection and Prevention. It is also available in one of our GitHub repositories, which is linked down below. From there, you can contribute to the project with feature requests, bugs, code suggestions and that sort of thing and I certainly encourage you to. As stated, the code is open source and will be released under my Alma Mater's open source license, that's the MIT one. Now, many content creators just don't have a website. They share links in the description of their videos. We are considering providing a pass-through service, where once a user clicks a link, the same functionality runs, block, warn or monitor, all at the content creator's discretion. And unlike Honey and Capital One Shopping, we will not swipe their commissions. Anyway, if we get enough support for this project, that's something we will either move forward with ourselves or partner with another company on. Finally, we're going to join the fight from a legal perspective. We've raised our hand to be a lead plaintiff in the class action case against Capital One, filed by the lawyers Kotchet, Pitre and McCarthy LLP. That is the same firm, by the way, that Gamers Nexus has engaged. Given our programming expertise, I really felt that we had to offer to help. This is a serious issue that has plagued this industry. If content creators earn their fair share of revenue, they can produce better videos for you. And with that said, I really implore you to help the creators that you follow by sharing this video and code base. We need to get the word out there that creators can defend themselves. That's all I got for you today. If you want to support our mission, then smash the like button and get subscribed. It's free and easy. If you want to do a little more, become a Patreon supporter or YouTube member. Links down below. Till next time, go do something awesome with your day and I will catch you later.